Hi folks and welcome to another episode of the Try Jake Truth here in Wellesley, Massachusetts, USA. My name is Jake and I'll be your host today. It's a very fun and exciting show that we have on. Uh, we are going to be doing a little cooking, a little baking. We're going to teach you that uh, eating healthy is easy, it's fun, it's fast, and it's family friendly. Uh, we're also going to be doing a little bit of work out, out later in the show. And, uh, but, but first, we're going to get a little bit uh, of an introduction from our special guest today. Our guest today uh, has a background with fitness nutrition. She's a personal trainer in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, she's a, a good friend of mine. It's an honor to have her on the, on the show and hear a little bit about what she's going on. So first we're going to get to know her, then she's going to feed us, and then she's going to work us out. It's going to be an awful lot of fun. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to present uh, Miss Stacy Michelle Newman. Hey. Welcome Thank to the you, Tri Jake. Jake Truth. So great to be here. Thank wonderful. you for having me. Wonderful, wonderful. So, Stacy, you are a personal trainer. Yes. Um, you have a, a passion for healthy living. And uh, I want to know right off the bat, uh, you know, what inspires you to live your life? So, it actually started about four years ago for myself. Um, I started working out, just playing around a little bit with some weights and some running in the gym, on the treadmill, and I started to realize I was very tired. I'm like, what's happening here? And so, for me, I got inspired to do a little more research on how essential food is for our body. And basically, I have a terrible sweet tooth, so I'm trying to do these workouts and motivate myself by eating, I hate to say it, fast food, quick grab-and-go bars, and it just was not working. So for me, that motivation came from going, okay, what's the next step? So doing the research and how important it is to work out and then also to feed ourselves clean, healthy food. Mm. Now, see, that's wonderful. And I love that that happened uh, about four years ago. Yes. You had this experience, mm -hmm. and a lot of it does come from knowledge. And uh, I find that uh, as a personal trainer myself, a lot of what I offer my clients comes from my own experience. So it sounds to me like you sort of had an aha moment. And uh, I love that, you know, two things I heard you say there. One is you were getting tired quickly, and two, you had, uh, you had a terrible sweet tooth. Yes. And I can relate to both of those things. Mm -hmm. Because as we all know, that when you are doing, um, you know, sugar, and you, you get that big spike and then it just drops off the face of the earth. And a lot of, a lot of people, they don't understand exactly what goes on uh, with that. So you identified that and it sounds like you did something about that. Yes. So then once you got on the right track, what, you just decided to become a personal trainer? How, how did that go? No, actually that is a story in itself because I was sitting behind a desk doing project management. I was actually in the health and wellness field, but I was completely hands off. And I was going to, I was fortunate enough to go to trade shows and be exposed to all this amazing information. And so I started picking and choosing that information and applying it to my own life. Mm. And then when I made the transition to, um, from New York to Boston, I went back to school, decided I wanted to get into personal training. I did not want to be held behind the desk anymore. Mm. And I really just wanted to dive into this 110%. Why? Because I was so driven and motivated to make changes in my own body. I was tired of being tired. I know it sounds like a cliche, but I was just tired of feeling weak and just not getting through. You know, unfortunately, we're no longer doing that, you know, eight-hour days. It's almost 14 hours. And if you have small children or, you know, if you're involved in um, travel, your days can be as long as 15, 16 hours. And that's just life. And I just wanted to be able to sustain my life and make a choice. And that came from deciding to put clean, healthy foods, once again, back in my body and start to work out according to my physical needs. Hmm. So now what do you do to work out? Okay, well, <laughs> when I first started this, I was that girl on the treadmill. Um, so I would start, I couldn't even run a mile. Um, so I'd start by walking and alternating running, and I got to a point where I was finally able to run a mile <laughs> in 13.15 seconds. Awesome. <laughs> 13, yeah, so it took forever, and it took me about two months to get to that level, but I wasn't going to quit. That's the key. Yeah. That's what's important. Mm -hmm. That's uh, something that we talk a lot about at, at TriJig Fitness is always moving forward. Yes. You know, and, and a recommendation that I often give people is, you know, go for a 10-minute a run where you just run for five minutes and then you run back for five minutes. Perfect. And, and people will say, well, I can't run for five minutes. And I say, yeah, but the walking is part of it. So if you can walk, walk. Yes. You know, the other, 
The other little uh, slogan that we say sometimes is run if you can, walk if you have to, crawl if you must, but don't stop moving forward. Oh, love it. You know, and, and so it's, it's very similar. The key is, and what you said there, is in that initial part of your journey, you did not give up. And, and, that's, and that's really what it's all about. So now you, you, you are doing, you know, you're doing very well mm -hmm. um, and you're, you're helping others. You're sharing this, this experience and this strength with others. And, and tell me a little bit about, you know, what you offer your clients. So for me, I try to have my clients have a goal. Well, yes, I want to lose 10 pounds. I'm getting married in six months. But what's the actual goal? Like, what is it that you're coming into the gym for? And what is it that you need from a personal trainer? And yes, you're going to need the obvious. I'm going to need a workout program based on my needs and what my goal is. But you need to know what your goal is. And I try to get people involved in setting a monthly goal and then mm. having that. And that monthly goal could be something like you said, the walking and running and turning that into a run. Or it could be for a lot of my clientele who are women, they can't do a pull up. Mm. So I love getting their backs nice and strong, um, showing them different exercises, including like, you know, doing push-ups, lat pull-downs with machines, getting them to the point where you can use weights mm -hmm. and you're not going to bulk up like a guy, um, and just realizing how strong they physically are. And that, to me, I get so much gratification when I have my clients do their first unassisted pull-up mm -hmm. um, and we met that goal. If it's a weight loss goal, you know, just having my clients understand how important nutrition is in that role in losing weight, including, you know, the cardio and once again going back to the weights and realizing that that's, there's this amazing whole dynamic to this and having them understand that. And when you are able to help your client understand that dynamic and how it's not just, well, I won't eat today. No, that's not the answer. <laughs> that's not what's going to make you lose that weight. And just getting them to understand, you know what, well, I, um, I'll work out for 45 minutes and then um, I'll be able to have pizza. It's not how it works. You can enjoy life. You can have a slice of pizza, but you're not going to work off those calories the next day. Mm -hmm. And just getting them to understand all of this. So it sounds like uh, you are a proponent of goal orientation. Yes. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> and, and, I, and I am too. And, and I think that that's a wonderful way to move, move people forward. So here we have, you know, you, you, you had this aha moment. You've kicked yourself into a higher gear. You're now maintaining that by sharing it with others and helping other people reconnect with their sparks. Yes. And now you're doing some very interesting stuff. Now you're you're doing uh, you're doing some modeling. You're doing some shows. You're yeah. a, you're a brand ambassador. Yeah. It, it seems like this this sort of Stacy Michelle Newman brand has really <laughs> really started to to turn into something. And and I am fascinated and motivated by this. You know, as 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 you know. And I want to hear more about that. So oh, sure. so tell me just a little bit about like. The, the journey beyond your personal training business? So the added bonus to getting into shape and to realizing how important it is to have a regimen to make fitness part of your life, set goals for myself. And one of those goals was to compete in um, a fitness competition. And it was in May of this year. I competed for the first time. That's awesome. Thank you in the fitness universe. And I actually came in fourth place. Which was I saw the pictures <laughs> on Facebook. You, they were dynamite. Thank you. So um, I just could not believe that, you know, to actually set that goal for myself and then to actually place, because um, I try not to put the emphasis on that. It was to actually get up on stage to present um, what at that moment was the best version of myself and not someone else. And by doing that, there was this ripple effect that happened and people started asking me what did you do to get into that um, that type of shape or you know what is it that you eat and so it just sparked this amazing journey um, where I'm actually going back to school I really want to fine-tune my nutritional um, background so that I can explain to my clients and help them be more aware and also with the personal training, um, it takes a village. So I actually do have myself, when I do my competitions, I do use a coach, a trainer, because, you know, it's um, we are trainers. Trainers need trainers. <laughs> yes. Always say that. So it's so important. And um, getting into, you know, Strong Curves by Stacey Michelle, I didn't realize how deep that was a passion of mine. And so we're in the beginning process of, you know, looking into 
how we can make that more successful to people to get them understanding exactly what it is yes. yeah see so. and and I am very curious also uh, to, to couple with your own brand uh, the, uh, the the shirt you're having oh you yeah talk a little bit about this this what is it? Be <laughs> this is beast apparel beast I think it's called? apparel so oh yes I was fortunate enough when they found out that I placed um, and they were looking for specifically certain types of um, brand ambassadors so I was fortunate enough that Brandon reached out to me and he was like hey you know what that's exactly what we're looking for you know I'm not this great big muscular woman I'm five foot three mm -hmm. um, and but it's a lifestyle for me and that's what they're all about so for them they wanted to associate the brand with lifestyle See, I think that's fantastic. And I'm really looking forward to tasting some of this yummy food that we got coming <laughs> up. So I'm glad we had the opportunity to get all caught up and, and, and really get to know what's, what's going out. So, so please stay tuned uh, because coming up next, we're going to be doing a, uh, I'm sorry, what, it's a banana bread? It's a protein banana bread. It's a protein banana bread. We're going to be doing a protein banana bread. And uh, it, it's just great to see, you know, somebody like Stacy uh, who transformed her life she preserves and keeps what she's experienced by giving away to other people. And uh, we're just honored to have her on the show today and, and call her a friend. Stacy, thanks so much. Thank you so much, Jake. All right.